Skimbleshanks, the Railway Cat. There's a whisper down the line at 11.39 when the night mail's ready to depart, saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? Has he gone to hunt the thimble? We must find him or the train can't start. All the guards and all the porters and the station master's daughters, they're searching high and low, saying, Skimble, where is Skimble? For unless he's very nimble, then the night mail just can't go. At 11.42, then the signal's nearly due, and the passengers are frantic to a man. Then Skimble will appear, and he'll saunter to the rear. He's been busy in the luggage van. He gives one flash of his glass-green eyes, and the signal goes, all clear. And we're off at last for the northern part of the northern hemisphere. You may say that by and large it is Skimble who's in charge of the sleeping car express. From the driver and the guards to the bagman playing cards, he will supervise them all, more or less. Down the corridor he paces and examines all the faces of the travellers in the first and in the third. He establishes control by a regular patrol, and he'd know at once if anything occurred. He will watch you without winking, and he sees what you are thinking, and it's certain that he doesn't approve of hilarity and riot, so the folk are very quiet when Skimble is about and on the move. You can play no pranks with Skimble Shanks, he's a cat that cannot be ignored, so nothing goes wrong on the Northern Mail when Skimble Shanks is abroad. Oh, it's very pleasant when you found your little den with your name written up on the door. And the berth is very neat with a newly folded sheet. There's not a speck of dust on the floor. There is every sort of light. You can make it dark or bright. There's a button that you turn to make a breeze. There's a funny little basin you're supposed to wash your face in. And a crank to shut the window if you sneeze. Then the guard looks in politely and will ask you very brightly, do you like your morning tea, weak or strong? But Skimble's just behind him and was ready to remind him the Skimble won't let anything go wrong. And when you creep into your cosy berth and pull up the counterpane, you're bound to admit that it's very nice to know that you won't be bothered by mice. You can leave all that to the railway cat, the cat of the railway train. In the middle of the night, he is always fresh and bright. Every now and then he has a cup of tea with perhaps a drop of scotch while he's keeping on the watch, only stopping here and there to catch a flea. You were fast asleep at Crewe, and so you never knew that he walked up and down the station. You were sleeping all the while he was busy at Carlisle, where he greets the station master with elation. But you saw him at Dumfries, where he summons the police if there's anything they ought to know about. And when you get to Gallowgate, there you do not have to wait, for Skimble Shanks will help you to get out. He gives you a wave of his long brown tail, which says, I'll see you again. You'll meet without fail on the midnight mail, the cat of the railway train.